What's good, people, man? It's your boy Jay over here, Black Chron 223. And as you can tell from the thumbnail, man, we're diving into your battle rifle. Why you end up getting a second rifle? Let's find out. Let's dive in. Let's get some more information on it, but you already know what to do, man. Like, subscribe, share the channel. Let's get it going. Drop that intro. The killing the other intros. There's room for you to learn and to grow. Step up your info. Uh, uh. Uh, yeah, yeah, put up a pistol. It's Black Guns 223. This is the intro. Back. So we are back, man. I appreciate you guys liking and subscribing to the channel. Like I said again, man, this is episode two of AR-15. We're talking about why people end up getting more than one. Or of course, outside of just wanting more than one. What's the fundamentals, man? What's the reason why? So let's be transparent. Y'all remember the video of the first episode? I'll drop the link down here. Remember how that rifle look? Amazing looking rifle, dope looking rifle. Love that rifle, right? Heavy as shit. The rifle is heavy. Just being transparent with you, man. Uh, one of the main reasons why I love that rifle, it definitely shoots amazing. There's nothing wrong with it, Ruger. Uh, I took changed a few things with it, but it is heavy. Just being honest with you. So instead of ripping that one apart, I was like, okay, cool. Let me get another AR-15. I love that one. I'm gonna keep that one. Rock with that one. But let me get a secondary one. Oh, well, no, of course I got more than two, but let me give a secondary one to kind of get an idea of what I like and how to be comfortable uh, with the rifle that I want when I'm out about, running the gunning, having fun in the shooting range. Because like I said, if you're shooting a heavy rifle, man, after a while, that thing is heavy. But for Instagram purposes, before we dive any further into this one, of course, let's go ahead and make sure everything is clear so there's no issues, nothing in the chamber. Mag empty. All right. Back to the conversation, right? So this is also a Ruger because I kind of like that Ruger platform. Just diving in. Uh, but this is the Ruger 5.56. I like this one because, yes, it shoots 223 as well and 5.56. But the frame, man, this thing is super light. This thing is super, super light. Uh, very dependable. I've already ran through probably like a thousand rounds through this and plus. Not one malfunction, not one jam, not one hiccup, nothing I had to adjust out the box. Uh, so what I personally did to this one, uh, to kind of jazz it up a bit, because like I said, it does not come out the box looking like this. It's plain Jane, uh, nothing on it, just the, the frame. That's it. No sights on it, no nothing. So I personally went through, of course, went ahead and got me some mag pool, backup sights, flip up. Up and down, there's nothing wrong with those. Front as well. Uh, I tacked on. Uh, this is what you call a reptile uh, mount. This mount, like I said, itself is light. Because I the one that comes with this SIG Romeo XCR, because I have this one on this gun and on the other AR-15, because I actually like this sight, man. This thing is crazy. You should check it out. Romeo XCR. Uh, this is the Predator, the green dot version. Uh, this reptile frame. It's lighter than what this mount comes with. So that took off more ounces. Of course, like I said, from all day of doing this, that can get extremely heavy if you're not used to it. Like I said, running a couple hundred rounds, trying to hold it up, can definitely get tiring. So the lighter you can make the gun, the better it's going to be. So outside of just changing some small things on it, like to add some additional sights, including the red dot, so everything is co-witnessed across. I went ahead and took off the standard uh, grip because I actually like this one rather, more comfortable, better finger grooves, all rubber uh, on here. So it felt so much better in my hand uh, and I didn't get tired shooting it after a while after holding that plastic. This this is perfect. This is made by Hogue. Uh, it also came a set. This plus the stop, man, six position, same thing. It's standard you would get on the rifle but this one also has the rubber pad on the back and on the top so it makes it even softer against your shoulder against your cheek uh just having fun with the gun and of course your standard uh vertical this is uh i want to say this is mag yeah mag pool grip up front like i said i use it to kind of standardly grab it when i grab mine put it tight my thumb is always on my light just in case i want to put that on on and off Just as easy as that. Gives me even 
more strength and grip when toting this around and firing to be more accurate. Of course, you already know, man, with most ARs, there's not a lot of recoil. But even if the little bit of recoil is there, if you can control it and reduce it, it's going to put your shot on target every single time. Uh, this is just the Olight uh, Odin up front. Simply rechargeable, pop on and off. Like I said, if you want, doesn't take much to get that thing rolling with the pad that comes with it. That comes with the Olight. So don't be afraid. Of, ain't nothing wrong with Olight. I'm actually a big fan of Olight from my channel. As you can tell, majority of my guns run Olight. Never had any issues with them. Never failed on me. I really walk with them. Alex, yeah, man. This is just the Ruger 556. Just another reason to get another AR. Like I said, if your first AR 15 is heavy, check this one out, man. It's pretty lightweight. I probably would say this was, is at the most five pounds. I, I really took some weight off this thing. This thing is pretty light. Like I said, the standard three and a half pound trigger pull. If you want to get less than that, you can, but just be honest, which is not necessary. I may change out the type of trigger this is though, but that may come later down the line just to be able to shoot faster yeah, when it comes to it. But man, all in all, man, I've been being transparent with you. One of my favorite guns to actually have, customize, change out. That's what I love about the AR platform. You don't, nothing you have to have is standard, man. You can change pretty much anything on AR. The more parts available. So do me a favor. After you get your first AR-15, that second one, man, customize it. Enjoy it. Change what you want on it. And make it feel more like yours. Like I said, change the color. Add pieces to it. Figure out what you want on your gun and run with that. And the same thing, like I said, everything you put on there, you just want to make sure it's transferable to the range or transfer it to the gun. Whatever you're going to do with your gun. Like I said, if you're just using your gun for home defense, night patrol, like you said, just make sure it's comfortable for you and everything you put on it is functional and it's not in the way. Like I said, because easily some things can be in the way when you're firing. Uh, it can get hot, so that may cause a problem, something to melt. And tighten everything down, bro. Once you do that, you can make your gun your own. And again, man, this is just a quick update. Just dropping this in. This is my second AR. Uh, we got more to go through. I'm going to talk to you about it as we go. The next one up, I actually changed uh, brand. I went from Ruger to a different brand. You're going to find that on the next episode, man. Tune in. Enjoy the fun. Like I said, I'm going to come out with some more uh, footage. We're shooting this one, so stay tuned for that one. Outside of that, man, Black Rons 233. Y'all enjoy y'all night.